All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My, my name is Jessica. Today we are filming makeup I still want, even though I know I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> One. And two, some of it is like things that, you know, it's by brands that are problematic, by people who are problematic or discontinued, but I still want it. I still wanted it. It's something that I'm like, hey, what the heck? I know I shouldn't want this, but I do. That's what we're doing today. Let me know what makeup you still want and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so the first thing here is the Too Faced Gingerbread Palette. So first of all, I'm quite sure if this is out of stock or not. I'm seeing it like at places, but they may be resold places. I'm not quite sure, but the Too Faced Gingerbread Palette for sure. First of all, I know I wanted it. I was on like a no buy. When did it come out? Like two years ago? I was on a no buy. I was like, no, I can't have it. Plus all my stuff. I think I was panning the modern renaissance at the time. And there's like the pinks and the oranges. And I'm like, oh, that's the same thing that I'm panning right now. Like calm down, Jess. But also oh, I really want it. Now I'm thinking about this. I'm like, first of all, Too Faced does scents on their stuff. Second of all, is this going to be gingerbread spice scented? I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so down. But I didn't buy it, thank goodness. Um, I actually went on the Fantastic Ladies on Facebook, which you should join if you want to. I said, hey, talk me out of the gingerbread spice palette. First of all, there's plenty of people that said, um, I want it. I'm going to get it. <laughs> you know, things like that. But then there were a handful of people, and I believe it was Amanda D that actually said this to me, which I'll link her channel down below. She's great. But she was like, you don't need it. Why would you want it? And I said, it's not probably gonna smell pretty like gingerbread she was like buy a freaking candle and I was like you're right you're right <laughs> so yeah I don't know I mean the colors are still beautiful people who have like who have it I know they love it um Too Faced again very problematic but that doesn't mean I don't want it and that doesn't mean I didn't want it and it still looks really pretty um unfortunately though I believe it's out of I believe it's not being sold anymore but honestly who knows anymore at this point <laughs> okay the next thing I want which I'm very surprised about myself for, but the 35F palette from Morphe, it's their Fall into Frost. Why? Would, why? Why, Jessica? Why do you want it? And the reason is because it has so many shimmers. I love shimmers. It has lots of like taupes and purples and like a little bit of like a yellowy gold and like all this pretty stuff. And these are colors that I like and that I really want. And I think they're beautiful. And it just has one little row of some mattes for like transitions just to make it a little easier you know things like that and I believe it's like super cheap right now too I think it's like only like 25 bucks online plus if you do like their you know how they always have like their influencer discounts and everything like if you find one of those it'd be even cheaper however I don't need it I don't need any shimmers like don't even need 35 eyeshadows are you kidding me as with Morphe a lot of it's redundant um and that's fine I guess but I still want it I do still want it. It reminds me of like fall and frost, fall and frost, fall and winter time. Like it reminds me of like the grunginess. Like it looks beautiful, but I won't get it. Also, so the next thing is the Jackie Ina ABH palette. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty. I don't really like the cover of it. I don't like that like iridescent slash beetle look to it. Not my fave, but the colors in it look so pretty. Jackie Ina, I mean, it looked, she did a really good job. Also, so for those of you who don't know, I'm a film major. I did a thesis film, um, and the makeup artist that we brought on it did my main actress's eye makeup in that. Um, she used, like, this peach shade, which there are plenty of, like, peachy pink shades out there. It was not, like, peach. It was, like, a pink. It was, like, a cool tone pink, but anywho beautiful it looked beautiful in person it looked all of it because before i hadn't gone in person like I, I don't usually go into a sephora store obviously now i won't be going into the sephora store for a while Whew, so pretty and i think it might be i think they might be discontinuing it if they haven't already but <sighs> plus those of you who don't know i panned the modern renaissance palette and like there were some rust stains on my pans which wasn't great um i mean i think that that palette performed beautifully however like it's a short-term palette and I don't know if the rest of the brand is like that too or just that palette or what it was. There's like some like questionable things in my head, but yeah. The next thing is ABH, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. Oh my gosh. And like, again, this is something where it's like, Jazz, like you are not a makeup artist. You cannot make that look good on your eyes. Like I already know there's gonna be fallout. I do my face first and then my eyes. I know I could fi like fix that easily, but 
um, I can't do that. Like, I'm also like a person who's like, I need my face looking good first and then my eyes. Um, otherwise I just like can't see, like, I'm like gonna look like it's, yeah, that color story is so neat, unique, so beautiful. Um, but also I've heard like, it is just so hard to use. Um, so I'm not a makeup artist. <laughs> so yeah. Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. Again, like this is something where I'm like, eh, I don't really necessarily love that. But everyone who has it, like, has the shimmer shades, like, ugh, and, like, I have that mentality, like, that collection mentality of the chocolate bar palettes. I won't get it. I won't get it. I can't get it. But it looks beautiful. Lots of shimmers, just a few transition, like, matte transition shades. That's all I need. I can't have it, though. I can't have it. Okay, the Urban Decay Naked Honey. So this one looks really nice and it looks nice because it's like got some yellow in it but it's like grungy yellow and then a little bit like of green tint like I'm like wait is that green tint and so like some sort of green like in there but not like too much because I'm like I've never like really played with green like I'm not sure if I can like handle I don't know if I can handle green but um yeah I'm like that I might be able to like work with like I might be able to work with that one and again hey if y'all haven't seen my uh eyeshadow palette collection video the two brands that I have like the collection mentality for or had it before is Too Faced, the chocolate bar, and then Urban Decay Naked palettes. And hey, Urban Decay Naked honey, and yes. But I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm on a no buy and I have way too much palette, too many palettes. Violet Voss hashtag. All the purples in there look beautiful. The yellows in there too look beautiful, which I have a handful of golds and I'm like, I'm getting so tired of golds. But I also am like, I don't think that I have that many like yellows though. Like I have golds, but not yellows. I'm like, there's a difference. So yeah, I mean, that one looks beautiful and it just looks like, like it looks like vibrant and great. And like a lot of what I have in my collection is like neutrals and neutrals and then like kind of a side of neutrals as well. Um, so yeah, I have very few like beautiful working purples, very few yellows, and this is just full of it. Um, and it's like, boom, it's like popping. But alas, no, I can't. Plus like, okay, so looking at the palette itself, it looks gorgeous together, but also looking at the swatches, I'm looking at like a picture of swatches next to it. It looks redundant and there actually looks like a lot of orange and I'm kind of over orange at the same time. So, yeah, I feel like that's whenever, like, the gold with the orange, I'm like, mm, been there, done that. I've had the Modern Renaissance palette. Okay, the Kylie Cosmetics Blue Honey palette. I have her burgundy palette. It works fine. It's not amazing, but it's there. The Blue Honey palette, again, it's like the blue and the yellow together. I'm like, beautiful. I hate blue. I hate working blue on my eyes. Like, I'm like, I haven't found a way to like it. I haven't found a way to like love it or anything like that. I don't need it. I'm obviously like loving. I really need some yellow in my life. Clearly there's like lots of different yellow vibes that I'm talking about and mustard vibes and all of those vibes, but I don't need the naked or the Kylie Cosmetics Blue Honey. Like I just don't need it. Like it's, it looks beautiful, but like practically I'm not gonna be able to use it. I just can't use it. And that's it. That's it for this video. That's all the eyeshadow palettes makeup that I still want after all these years of them being out. Like some of them are getting pretty up there in age, like 35F. That's pretty old. I've still wanted that for like a really long time. Some of them are newer. Some of them, you know, were, you know, star-crossed lovers, like never able to like get my hands on them, kind of, you know, sold out too fast, all that kind of stuff. But Above all, as always, I cannot buy any more makeup because I have too much makeup. I have too many eyeshadow palettes and that's that. It is what it is. Let me know if there's any out there that you were like still pining after. You still see it and you're like, oh, I wish I could have gotten that or I wish I could get that, but I can't. Maybe like one day in 10 years when they're not selling it anymore. <laughs> but there's always going to be palettes that are going to be like, I want that. You know, there's obviously a list of them. But if I had it in my collection, it would sit there, right? So that's that. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you're like craving, which ones that you want. 
and yeah i hope that i hope this was a fun video i thought it was different for my channel so <laughs> hey for differences i don't know all right y'all have a good day um yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe don't forget to do that but anyways thank you all so much for watching have a good day <laughs> bye